When the Lotus Sutra is placed before an image possessing 31 features, the image never fails to become the Buddha of the pure and perfect teaching. It is for this reason that the Universal Worthy Sutra, referring to the Buddha of the Lotus Sutra, explains, quote, A Buddha's three types of bodies are born from this correct and equal sutra. Close quote. The correct and equal sutra in this phrase does not mean the sutras of the correct and equal period. It indicates the Lotus Sutra. The Universal Worthy Sutra also states, quote, this great vehicle sutra is the eye of the Buddhas. It is through this sutra that the Buddhas are able to acquire the five types of vision. Close quote. The written words of the Lotus Sutra express in visible and non-coextensive form the Buddha's pure and far-reaching voice, which is itself invisible and coextensive, and so possesses the two physical aspects of color and form. The Buddha's pure and far-reaching voice which once vanished, has reappeared in the visible form of written words to benefit the people. Chen Chai, in his commentary, states, quote, When the Buddha begins preaching, after repeated entreaties from his listeners, he expounds the heart of his teaching. The heart of his teaching is the Buddha's mind, and the Buddha's mind is itself the Buddha's wisdom. The Buddha's wisdom is extremely profound. Therefore, the Buddha refuses three times to proceed with his preaching, and his listeners entreat him four times to continue to preach. The preaching of the Lotus Sutra was accompanied by such difficulties. Compared to the Lotus Sutra, the preaching of the other sutras was an easy matter. Close quote. In this commentary, Chen Tai uses the term Buddha's mind to indicate that the sutra itself, a physical entity, actually embodies the Buddha's spiritual aspect. Because the Lotus Sutra manifests the Buddha's spiritual aspect, when one embodies that spiritual aspect in a wooden or painted image, the image in its entirety becomes the living Buddha. It is for this reason that the Tian Chai states, quote, All things having color or fragrance are manifestations of the middle way. Close quote. 